Hi guys! I know I haven't been making a video for uh, like three months now? More than three months? I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, so, in order to break that cycle, I decided to make a video about my British uh, World War One gear that I have. I have currently almost f completed the basic webbing and the equipment that they carry for a short film that I hope to make this summer. Um, it's probably going to about be about, you know, uh, sit in the, at either the Gallipoli Theatre or the Middle Eastern Theatre with Ottomans versus British or Australians. So yeah, that's the plan. Okay, now let's start with the uh, basic equipment that we have for the Brits. So, basically here I have a pattern 1908 uh, webbing set, completed. Um, I already had this thing for like two years now, but I haven't really used it in a film. Only one film, which was the one of my over-the-top remake short film. Uh, if you haven't seen that, check it out. But it's not really good since we didn't have trenches. And I had to film it in my backyard. Which is kind of stupid. But I already did it, so... Hmm, mistakes happen. Uh, so... Things that I got new. Uh, basically, canteen cup. Canteen, sorry, canteen. I changed the cork. Because originally uh, the other cork that came with it was getting rusty so easily. Hi cat. Uh, so I had to change that. Uh, other things that I got. I got a bayonet scabbard but I don't have the bayonet because of course shipping restrictions and the basically overall package uh, price uh, limitations of the customs in Turkey is annoying. I can't buy anything above 30 euros which is you know disturbing i also got a british e-tool um what do you call heels 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 basically handle i also have the tool head right here which is dated 1914 which is obviously a replica um, yeah, what do you do with this is basically you, if you know, don't know. Yep. You try to take it off with one hand, which is really dis hard to do. Okay. You take this. Put it like that. And you basically have yourself a pickaxe. Well, these weren't really used for digging the trenches, but to make little folk souls uh, when they were getting shot at. And you can also use these as, you know, weapons. Um, the bayonet, as I said, I don't have it, but I probably put my friend's uh, Arisaka bayonet right here because it's identical to the British uh, hooked uh, SMLE bayonet. I think you wouldn't even notice that if I haven't said that to you, so, yeah. Uh, as you can see, there's some uh, color difference here because I aged these by putting it them under uh, summer heat, uh, sunlight, so they're a bit more uh, lighter color than they were originally are. For example, let me show you, like, this is the original color it was. Oh, it's more khaki. Again, this color is not 100% correct, but I mean, you know, I don't make films 100% correctly accurate, so I don't mind having that mistake made again. Uh, one thing I didn't like about this uh, webbing was the brass quality. It wasn't really good on it, but on camera, it doesn't really affect that really much. I mean, it still looks cool. Um, one thing to note, when I bought this thing from IMA, it didn't come with extra uh, things here. You can see those to put this uh, little haversack small pack back to the 
on the straps basically uh, this is the battle order by the way in marching order you would have the small pack right there and the big pack which is actually dated 1940 this is the original pattern 37 but it does uh, fit with this because you know they basically the same design the only main difference was I think this thing also used another two set of straps other than the first world War version only used this exactly same method that is used to put the small pack, pack right there uh, anything else um, I mean I got uh, you know a bag for a small box respirator but I don't have a small box respirator because they're so expensive so what I did I basically uh, bought a five euro uh, gas mask from Sweden a Swedish gas mask and duct tape it or electric tape uh, hose to it so it would kind of resemble a um, small box respirator gas mask as you can see the tape just comes off so it basically actually a cross between a German and a British small box respirator since this is like the really early war World War II uh, technology this is night dated 1940 as I said but probably I won't be able to show it to you maybe it says uh, what was it it says March 9th of March 1940 sorry 39 oh it's older haha <laughs> ah, yeah so I got this for five euros so five euros well spent uh, other than that uh, la, 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 focus camera please I also bought some basic uh, canvas bandoliers I put some cardboard inside them I know they don't look like three or three rounds but I mean I don't mind the look of it I also have a Wolseley's pit helmet here I already had this thing but I put some you know wrapping around it to make it more like the ones that uh, you see on the photographs uh, I also added a fake leather chin strap it did not come with a normal chin strap that they used you're supposed to have it came with a canvas one I changed it uh, so yeah, this is it for the basic uh, film props. I mean, you know, I don't really reenact anything, but I might do that when I go to UK. I have a, got an acceptance from a uh, university in Bournemouth, 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 Bournemouth University for television production. So yeah, I. Yeah, signing off, guys. Good go. Good <laughs> goodbye. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I I will see you in the next video. I'll probably try to make another video fairly quickly. I know you guys don't like to have to wait for like months, but I mean it's hard thing for me to upload videos. So yeah. Okay, guys. See you later. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye.